Hi, this is Gideon Mayhew from the Icon Factory, and today we are importing templates into Linea Sketch to help us with Inktober 2019. We've created a set of templates that contains a drawing space for each day in October, along with the associated prompt for that day. Hopefully these templates will help keep you organized, because it's already tough enough to crank out 31 sketches in 31 days. So in order to get started, we're going to open the link that contains the template files right on Dropbox. So I'm tapping and holding on the downloadable templates link in the blog post and selecting open a new tab. Now if you have the Dropbox app installed on your iPad, this would open right in Dropbox. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just opening the link right in mobile Safari. And so you should see a directory of the templates here along with the prompt list. We just included that for reference. You don't really need that. Next, I'm going to switch back to Linea Sketch and create a new project to contain Inktober. So I'll hit the New Project button in the upper left. And that'll create a new project as well as the first new sketch in the series. We'll rename the project after we're done. The next step is to get Safari and Linea side by side in iOS. So I'm going to swipe up to reveal the dock. And then I'm going to drag Safari out of the dock and into the split view. So now I have a split view with Safari on the right and Linea on the left. And we can adjust the proportions of the split views. And I like to do that just so the Safari is a little bit smaller than Linea. And we can also pinch out on the Linea side so we can get the entire canvas in our field of view. Just makes it a little easier when you're importing by drag and drop. So I'm going to tap through to the first template on the Safari side. And then I'm just going to tap and hold and drag that template from Safari over to Linea. Once the image has been imported, you can use your Apple Pencil or your finger to position it within the canvas if you want to get it exactly centered or you want to resize it a little bit, that's fine. Once you've got it where you want it, click the green accept check mark. And that's it. So we want to set up the rest of the templates. How do we do that? Well, it's pretty easy, actually. Just tap the Actions icon at the upper left. That's the dot, dot, dot icon. And then tap New Sketch. And that'll create another one in the series for this project. And then we navigate on the Safari side back a level and go to the second template. And then just drag and drop that one over. Position it and then accept it. So then you just simply repeat this process until you get all eight templates all eight pages of Inktober sketches into Linea Sketch. We didn't want to pack too many days onto a single page. We don't want to limit your drawing space too much. But of course, you don't even have to use templates if you don't want to. These are just provided as a nice way to stay organized. So now that we're done, we'll close the split view. Then we'll close the sketch and get back out to the project level. So now we have a new project there called My Sketches that contains all of the templates for Inktober. But I want to rename that. I want that to be more personalized. So I'm going to tap the little Actions icon for the project and then say Rename Project. I will delete the name My Sketches and I will rename it Inktober 2019. So now I'm completely ready to go. I have all of my templates imported. I have the project set up. I'm ready to draw. Bring on October. Let's do this. Hopefully this tutorial has taken a little bit of stress out of Inktober. Get you up and running quick and easy. Make it as painless as possible. And don't forget all through Inktober to tag your sketches with hashtag Linea Sketch when you post them online to Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We'll be reposting our favorite sketches done with Linea to our own Instagram. So that's it. Thanks for joining us, and happy drawing, everyone.